Morning, and I'm up hours before the alarm even thinks it's sounding. The air is rich with the scent of smoke and coffee by then. Here's where I think about my day. About the kids, driving them to school. Having lunch with my wife, playing ball in the backyard. A nice family chicken dinner, and in bed at eight to do some casual reading. But all I need is another drag of my cigarette to remember that I don't have any children. I don't play ball in the backyard. I don't eat chicken. I kill people for money. And today is the same as the last. Business has been slow lately, especially the last few months. I guess people just don't have 40,000 cash up front anymore. Plus, I really think we've turned into a nation full of pussies. Good morning, pumpkin. Yeah, this sleepyhead. Did you sleep good? Yeah. Getting ready for work? Yeah. I'm supposed to meet a new client today at 3 o'clock. Oh, Mr. Ricci. How did you know his name? You told me. I never tell you my clients' names. You know that. Listen, I'm not going to fight with you right now. You told me last night. All right. I don't remember, but if you say so. You gotta run. I'll see you later. There's something in the air today. Something fresh, a, a, a flower smell. Or maybe it's just the weather. Odd, really. Rain, sunshine, clouds, thunder. I've never seen the sky this, this volatile. <laughs> but what am I, a fucking weatherman? Those assholes are about as clueless as the guys I deal with. Who are they? They can't predict a goddamn thing. Meanwhile, I am a god. I'll cut through the cemetery today to get to the motel. Save time. Something soothing about this place. I'd look around and see a field full of satisfied customers. Thoughts begin to rise and creep around me. When will I die? Will I ever get what's coming to me? Will anyone cry at my funeral? What will my epitaph say? Here lies Anthony Dunyon. The man who blocked his own shot. But I don't believe a word of it, and I don't waste another second thinking about it. People like me, in one way or another, live forever.
License, registration, proof of insurance. Sure. Sorry about that, I was in a rush. It's my PBA card, my, my brother's a cop in the 6th Precinct. All right, I'm gonna let you off with a warning. The next time, read the signs. Yeah. Thanks. My older brother, the cop, is the type of guy who'd get whacked and never see it coming, never see the signs. Like me coughing. That's a sign that tells me I should quit smoking, but I don't, and some tobacco company gets rich. People struggle to see what they want so badly, they walk around cross-eyed. I don't worry, though. Cindy's never been this loyal, never strayed. But sh she's also never committed. And I guess I don't blame her. How are you supposed to love the devil? I hate the drive. My mind starts to wander. I used to remember all the people I've killed. But it has all become streaks and, and blurs. Like, I'm a, a, a waiter at the end of the day. I sit down and I count my money, but can't remember a single customer. I like to show up to a meeting a little early. Can't be too careful nowadays. I also always like to meet in a different motel. Variety is the spice of life. That's Mr. Ricci. Fucking slob. I am about to make some money. Here we go. Sit down. All right. Let's talk business. What does he want done? Well, I need to take care of somebody. Who is it? Your wife? No. Actually, it's my girlfriend's ex fiance. Cindy? I never saw it coming. Well, the devil looks good, but I hate how he feels. Well, he cut his dogs loose and they snapped to my heels. And I tend to stand out like a hard on a church. Maybe Jesus could heal. How the lapse would learn, but it won't save my soul. I'm not one of his sheep. My personal savior. Don't bother my sleep. Cause I'm lost in the wild. Seems like a memory that's love and girl seems to last. My mother would say. 
scars on my fingers have started to bleed. And my father's a model for a heart. 